Good morning! It is day two of this Disney World vacation. It's an eight night Disney vacation. It is just about 9 a.m. We are headed out to Epcot today. I will say this, we got in like late last night. I edited some things when I got back to the room and then I realized it's late and I have to be up at 7 a.m. to get Genie Plus and buy a lightning lane for Guardians. Well, 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 I didn't set an alarm, so I didn't wake up. I woke up at 7.32, got on the app, and there were still lightning lanes for Guardians. So I booked one. We're riding it at 12.40, so we still got a little bit of time. We're going to rope drop margaritas because there is a new uh, to-go cup for the Lily Margarita. Uh, if you guys don't know, Lily Aldridge has her own margarita at La Cava. It's pretty tasty, so we're going to go get that with the new to-go cup. We'll probably walk around World Showcase and then ride guardians for the first time but another day let's do it another adventure we're heading to epcot welcome to the future or should i say oh. your future <laughs> at least we're somewhat normal now why do i look so frightened why do I also not have a neck? <laughs> I'm not gonna be picky. I'm sorry, I asked to live by the beach and they said here's a digital display of the beach. That's a little rude. <laughs> it makes no concern. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you're in the mountain almost in the forest. I'm in a tree. I said I want to live at the beach. <laughs> We made it off Spaceship Earth. I'm calling today the Lazy Person's Day, Genie Plus Day in Epcot. Because I woke up this morning late. I didn't buy Genie Plus, but then I walked in and I saw the line for Spaceship Earth and I was like, mm -hmm, immediately no. So we just rode that. Oh, it appears Nemo's back up. Do you want to go on Nemo or Figment? Let's just walk on to Nemo because it's only five minutes. And then... We had a lightning lane for this. All right, let's go ride Nemo. Moral of the story is, it's a lazy person, she need plus day. Let's see how much we can ride. That was very chaotic, but it just reopened and I'm not gonna use a lightning lane on this. Uh, we did get a redemption pass because we were supposed to be on this for anything. So we'll go ride something else, but let's do it. We had to come and see. It's a training session with the dolphins right now. I've actually never seen them train the dolphins. Very cool though. Yeah. How cute. Stop. I also worked in dog training for a while and you realize how similar animal behavior is because obviously they're trained to hit a target. I love that. Oh. <laughs> this, in my opinion, much better than the bird exhibits. I'll take dolphins over birds any day. Very cool. But yeah, if you haven't come to explore this area in the Seas Pavilion, why not? Let's go find some other animals, maybe a manatee, but it's cool. A little training session. I love that. If you are not road dropping La Cava del Tequila, you are doing Epcot wrong. I'm just saying, it is like 11.04. They haven't actually opened yet, but this is already the line for La Cava. This is my only road drop I will do. I'm not a morning person when I'm at the parks, which I know a lot of people are obsessed with coming in the morning and rope dropping. I only need to get here by 11. I will rope drop La Cava del Tequila and I will rope drop Nomad Lounge in Animal Kingdom. Those are my two rope drop spots. So we're headed in to get the smoke show on the margarita. 
All right, just outside the Mexico Pavilion, enjoying my lily. I don't know if you can actually, oh no, you can. Um, today was the day, or maybe last night, they debuted these custom sign to go glasses. So, cheers to that. I will say, this margarita is $33, which is not cheap. Um, you can get a top shelf margarita there for under, what's like 23 bucks? So, it's on the expensive side. However, it comes with the smoke show and it is good. So if there is smoke show footage that my dad filmed, I'll put it here. <laughs> but Worth the splurge at least once, I'm going to say. Also, Lily seems like the sweetest little angel. So, love that. We're going to go grab lunch at Connections Eatery and then ride Guardians. Which I don't think is going to be a great combo, but we'll see how it goes down. So, let's go grab lunch. Let's go do things. But, had a rope drop margaritas at La Cava because it is the only proper thing you do in Epcot. I'm just saying. We actually have a view of Guardians from our table. We're headed there next in about 40 minutes. But we both got the kids meal, which I will say comes with two chicken tenders. Like this is like a decent sized little bowl. I ordered coleslaw. I will say the older couple at the table next to us got salad because your choices are you get two sides. So you either can do a salad, coleslaw or fries and you can double up on any of them. But this whole meal, I think, is $7.99, and it comes with a little fountain bev, which they have fountains up there, so you can just walk up and get whatever, but for $7.99, I feel like this is a pretty good steal. They also have honey mustard from a spigot, and I like to put salt in my ketchup, and somebody else told me to add pepper, so I did, but pretty good. Am I going to regret eating a meal before going to get on Guardians? I've had a margarita and a meal. I don't think that's the best recipe for successful time on Guardians. I'm gonna ask to sit in the front because Chrissy over at Tory Plans told me she's written it 11 times. And she said, road 10, she gets woozy, but the front is good. Uh, so yeah, eat this. Maybe take a little bit of a rest and walk through like the gift shop again, the creations. Is it just called Creations? And then we're gonna go over because Guardians of the Galaxy is up next. And in approximately six minutes, I can book my next Fast Pass. We've had two Fast Passes, this, two Lightning Lanes this morning. Act like I said Genie Plus the whole time. Um, we've had two Lightning Lanes this morning. One for Space of Earth, one for uh, Nemo that we ended up not using it because the ride went down and it became an encompassing all you can use it wherever. So we walked on a Nemo when it came back up and then we rode Figment, which y'all Figment stands. I do not, I do not understand that ride is. It, it ain't it. It's bad. The Figment ride is terrible. I've ridden it twice as a grown adult and I'm good for the next approximately six years. I don't need to ride it again. Um, I have another lightning lane later for Frozen and we'll see what else we can get. But like, I will say not as bad as getting lightning lane when we were here in March, which I don't know if it was like spring break or if they've opened more lightning lanes, but when we did Genie Plus in March, when I got in the park and I tried to make a reservation at 10.30, I had nothing. So like now that there is certain things I can do, it's not bad. So the lazy guy, the lazy girl's guide to Genie Plus in Epcot continues. So we'll see what happens, but we're gonna finish lunch, take a little bit of a rest so I do not get sick on Guardians and then we're headed over. happen to our lightning lane yes it was $14 a person today but at the same time 
I'm willing to pay that. So let's go hop into Lightning Lane and ride Guardians. There will be no spoilers, but I'll give you my reaction at the end. I have managed to go the month since this opening without a single spoiler, and I will not spoil it for anyone. So let's go ride Guardians. All right, we just got done with Guardians, but there's this nice little like area that has shaded booths. Um, probably will be done by the time I post this, but um, just got off Guardians, so let me give you my opinion. Um, would I pay for Lightning Lane again? Yes. There are no spoilers in this. I'm not a spoiler type of gal. Um, my thoughts, though. If you get motion sick, you will get motion sick on this ride. I feel like there's no way you wouldn't. Yes, the ride is smooth, but there's so much like whipping and turning that I just feel like you would get motion sick. I was told by Chrissy at Touring Plans to sit in the front. She's ridden it 11 times and said uh, the back is the worst for motion sickness. So we requested row one. They put you kind of to the side and you wait for row one. We waited through three cycles to be put on row one. but. Overall, the ride is really cute. I really like it. It's fun. Um, I do feel like the pre-shows, you're herded like cattle. Like, there's so many people in there that it loses kind of the experience. But I really enjoyed it. I would pay again. I'm just saying, my mom, you guys know her and her ways of uh, reacting to any type of roller coaster. I she can't do Sleepy Dog. She would not have been good on this, and I know this. So, if you get motion sickness ride at your own risk uh but i thought it was cute i liked it it was enjoyable uh people told me it was better than hagrid's no no and i'm gonna tell you the reason why and this is like no spoilers in things there were times in hagrid's where i was truly shocked at the course of what was happening next i didn't look at spoilers for either ride i was truly shocked by what happens during ha uh, hagrid never felt that way during guardians it was just like the expected ride i could have seen spoilers and i don't even think it would have spoiled the ride for me that's my opinion on it so overall fun loved it we did just stop it at the farmer's booth which is the one flower and garden festival booth that the food switched every switch three times during the course of this festival and right now they have this burrata and tomato salad that is very good how is the watermelon cheesecake feta very good. Very good. This was the home of that like weird popsicle-y thing. Remember that? But I liked Guardians. I'll definitely ride it again this week because you can get different songs on it. Um, but overall, I just feel if you get motion sick, it's not the ride for you. I'm just saying. Or at least ask for the front if you want to be brave. But that was fun. We're going to Wander World Showcase for a bit. Um, so who knows what adventure. I'm going to need a Violet Sake. ASAP with my cocktail other cocktail I'm drinking but you know overall fun the songwriters are known for is their ability to capture the heart and soul of the character in a single song So far, taken three shots today. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, the club challenged me, and I always am down for a challenge. But I'm gonna finish this. I just switched our dining reservation. We're gonna move to Rose and Crown, so that should be fun. But we have about an hour. We're gonna wander. Here's the Genie Plus update for the day. Scanned into Frozen, it wouldn't let me make my next reservation. That's weird to me. Sure. So so far, we've ridden Spaceship Earth, Figment, and Frozen. Not great. However, I've started to stack park passes for the end of the night over at Hollywood Studios. So after dinner, we're gonna jump on the Skyliner, go to Hollywood Studios, and then come back for Harmonious because the car is parked here. But I think the Genie Plus strategy is to stack fast passes at the end of the night. That's the strategy. So like, get everything done in the morning and then just 
bam, bam, bam in the afternoon. And you can, they can overlap times. So we'll see. We'll hop over to studios, whatever. But we're going to Rose and Crown for dinner. My dad said he would like some shepherd's pie. Uh, and then we'll hop over to studios, but it's hot. Just relaxing. If you have never come to the Japan Pavilion and gone up in the back, why not? It's shaded, it's cool. You can hear the drummers at a point. One of my favorite spots to sit. So, gonna enjoy this violet sake and then we'll slowly meander our way to dinner in the UK Pavilion. I know we said we were going to dinner, but then we stopped for sangria in the Morocco Pavilion because they have like a sangria bar. Very loosely using that term. Uh, it is sangria out of spigots, but there's a shareable sangria that comes with two glasses of sangria. So what I'm saying is my dad is going to murder me at dinner because I will be feeling very good. Uh, but we have dinner in 25 minutes. So we'll make our way over. I'll drink one of these so I'm not double fisting my way through Avocad. That seems a little extreme. And we'll make our way over to dinner. But I'll show you the sangria bar. It's interesting. But I don't understand why there's not just a regular sangria that's not two glasses. However, two glasses of sangria for 20 bucks, because that's what it is, not a bad Epcot deal. They have a few things here, including the shareable sangrias from said spigots. Just saying. I feel like this spot in Epcot is very underrated if you want to relax for a bit. I'm between France and the UK. It's like right before you cross the bridge but it's shaded. There's no one here. A few people sitting down there. They actually know what they're doing in that spot, but it's just so pretty. But if you want to relax for a bit, enjoy a cocktail, complain about how ugly the harmonious barges are, it's not a bad place to do it. This is my moment of sin for the day. Please join me. We made it to Rosen Crown for like an early dinner. It's 5.02 right now. I will say we're staring at the barges of Harmonious because they're like testing things and it's been interesting. But I'll show you what we ordered. It's been a bit so. Well, I ordered the burger. I picked it apart. I have like a sensory thing where I don't like sauce on things and the burger bun's really soaked and I'm just not here for that. But the flavor's good. These like crispy green onions on it are phenomenal. The chips are always good as they are here. And I will say, I think my dad liked his shepherd's pie. He did say though, Raglan Road is better. That's the real tea, but we're just enjoying a nice dinner with this view before jumping on the Skyliner and heading over to Epcot, but uh, heading over, I need to stop drinking today, uh, before heading over to Hollywood Studios, but I like Rose and Crown. I will say we're, we're seated at a table that is straight up on a slant. Like, if I had something that rolls, that really didn't prove my point. I'm <laughs> not here for it. Hold on. Thank you. We're on an angle. That's all I'm trying to say. All right. Leaving Epcot. Heading on the Skyliner. We're going to hop over to Hollywood Studios. Hopefully ride a few things, but I will say the Skyliner is my favorite. And I will give a shout out to my friend David. I think he got with the Deathliner the other day. And I asked him like four times. I was like, what? He does not like heights, so he does not love the Skyliner, but... Let's head over to Hollywood Studios. We are currently flying from Hollywood Studios to Epcot. Did I film anything in Hollywood Studios? I do not believe I did. Um, but we actually have a um, Guardians of the Galaxy. We are now sailing over Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Home. We actually got a, um, like, what's it called? Standby queue, whatever, for uh, Guardians, and we have till 8.57, it's 8.27 right now, and we're about to hit, uh, Riviera. Well, don't say that, because we're on the Skyliner. That's up for debate. Um. In just a minute, we will be arriving at... But anyways, we're gonna go ride it again. I think I'm 
gonna ask to be in the back this time because when we wrote it earlier, we were in the front, or we'll just go wherever they put us. But I'm curious to. She talks way too much. It's it's a little too much. Anywho, um, we'll see how it goes back there. I will say I wanted to watch Harmonious tonight, but it's being filmed, and all the good views are currently taken. So immediately, probably not. We'll go write Guardians instead. I can't with this one. So the evening, the rest of the evening essentially got no airtime. We made it back to Epcot, rushed over to Guardians to make our uh, boarding group and wrote it again. I will say I did feel a little queasy. It could be everything I drank today, but I felt a little bit queasy, uh, for especially the first 10 seconds. They're rough. That's all I'll say um, if you get motion sickness. But it was a fun day. Tomorrow, have a fun day. I have an in-room massage with Denise from Soul Wellness. She is my go-to girl. This is probably like the fifth in-room massage I've gotten with her. She literally comes to your room and does everything. And I think we're doing hot salt stones tomorrow. So I'm excited for that. Headed over to Magic Kingdom for the day. Have a reservation at Tony's Town Square. We'll see how it goes, but thanks for joining me today. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.